Hey y'all. This is Ray's Reborn Love. I'm coming on to finally do a video with this beautiful baby. I love her. This is the Delilah Sculpt by Nikki Johnston. And she was reborn, painted, and rooted by Asha with Pickles and Tea, Captive Hearts. Beautiful baby. Knocked out. But anywho, I've been wanting to do a video for a while, and I'm finally able to do a video. And so, here we are doing a video. Um, Hope everybody's doing well. Remaining safe. Um, and yeah. So, um, like I said, I've been wanting to do a video. I just have not had the time. Just been so busy working, dealing with other, uh, you know, things, personal things in my personal life, family issues and stuff like that. But um, God is good. I'm blessed. And um, I found a little bit of time this morning to come on and do a quick video with this little girl. So that's what I'm doing. So, um, yeah, we're going to get her out of this old diaper. I'll put her into this diaper. What's been going on, everybody? Me, same old, same old. Work. Life, work, life, <laughs> back to work again. <laughs> um, there's been a lot going on on my little bus at work. You know, I like to tell y'all my little bus stories. So, let's see. What day was this? I'm gonna say Saturday. Saturday, I get. On my last trip, which is like really, really late. I think I'm running my last trip like at 10 something. Because I get off at like 11.45 or something like that. So I'm running my last trip and I pull up to these apartments, to this apartment complex. I pull up to the apartment complex and I have... A man and a lady, well, like, several people got on. But it was this one guy and his girlfriend. I guess it was his girlfriend. I don't know who she was to him. But before I even pulled up, I already peeped them. And I'm like, okay, here we go. Here go the problems. I could just tell. When you do this long enough, you already know... Just like they sizing you up before you pull up because they don't have no money. And they trying to see if they'll be able to get over on you. I'm sizing them up when I'm pulling up too. Let me pause for a minute. So I'm putting this little outfit on her. It's by Free Birdies. It's really, really cute. It's almost like if, if anybody has bought like Posh Peanut. I think it's called Posh Peanut or something. It's kind of like on the lines of, of their um, little sleepers and stuff. So I'm putting this on her as a sleeper. But um, yeah, so I pull up to uh, this bus stop and I see this man and this lady in the back of the crowd of people that's getting on. And I'm like, oh God, here we go. So all the other people get on. And it's this one lady she gets on and she needs to add money. And she's confused. Like, she don't know how to add the money. So, she's, like, asking me, you know, how do you add the money? And so, the, the guy and the girl that I'm speaking of, the girl, she got on the bus already. And she walked right past me and went and sat down. She didn't pay. I told you already knew that was going to be a problem. Okay, so she goes and she sits down, and then this one lady, this other lady steps up, and then the guy that's with the girl that didn't pay, he steps on the bus behind this other lady. So the one lady, she's at the fair box, and she's trying to add her money, and she don't know what she's doing, and she, you know, I'm trying to tell her what to do, and, and she, I think she was 
she was from another country. So a lot of times it's like a communication breakdown with some of these people because they don't understand me or they act like they don't understand me. And I'm not understanding what they saying either. Okay, shaky hands. Okay, so anywho, I um I pull up. I mean, they get on, she get on, and she's trying to add her money. I'm trying to tell her what to do. She not understanding me. I'm trying to be patient, but I'm getting a little irritated. And then the guy that steps on, that's with this lady that walks past me, he said, he starts telling her, oh, you got to do this and you got to do that. And, you got... and I'm trying to explain to this lady what to do and he's butting in. So now I have to tell him, sir, wait a minute. I'm telling her I got this. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling her what to do. She can't hear both of us. She barely is understanding me. She's not going to understand if we both talking. So, oh God, what's happening here? Oh, so, you know, I basically tell him he need to be quiet and let me, let me do this. And he tell, he say, okay, okay. So, so he stops talking. Somebody calling me. Okay, I'm sorry. Somebody was calling me. Is it still recording? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, it's still recording. Okay. So, he, um, so he says, okay, or whatever. So, nevertheless, we finally, I finally, you know, explained to the lady how to add her money or whatever. So, she goes and sits down. And then he says, of course, to me, he says to me, I don't have no money. <laughs> And I'm, I'm like, okay, I already knew that. So I'm already pressing the number eight on a on a fare box, which means that the person is evading a fare, basically. They not paying. So he goes and he sits down or whatever. So, you know, I'm driving my road and everything. So then all of a sudden, at some point during the course of the route, he gets up and he runs up to the front and he's like, um, hey, um, what, what you want to, you want to seven corners and seven corners is a particular, um, bus transit center where you can transfer to get on different buses. And I'm like, um, yeah, I'm going to seven corners. And he like, oh, okay. So he goes and he sits down. So then when I get to seven corners, I'm thinking, okay, they going to get off him and her. So he's like, um, excuse me. He yelling from the back. Are you going to sit here or are you going to pull off right away? Because normally the way they set our schedule up is when we get to seven corners, we usually have a little bit of like layover time. It's not a lot. Maybe like five to seven minutes or something. So I'm like, um, no, I'm getting ready to pull right off because this particular day I didn't have any layover time. You know, I was like right on the money. It was traffic and all that stuff. So all that stuff. You know, you got to take that stuff into account. So, nevertheless, so I pull off and I continue my route. And so, then, at some point, he comes back up to the front of my bus and just start asking me all these questions about the route. Oh, you go a different way now? And, you know, just kind of, like, purposely irritate me. And he don't have a mask on. He don't have no... He has a mask on, but he doesn't have it up. And he's standing right in the front of the bus with me. So I'm telling him, I'm like, sir, you know, I'm answering your questions, but you gonna have to put your mask on. So then all of a sudden I look up in my mirror, my overhead mirror in the middle, and I see the girl that's with him. She done came up to the front of the bus too. Now, mind you, she's tweaking. I guess that's how you say it when a person is probably on drugs. She's tweaking and she's like saying, stuttering little stuff out of her mouth. I don't know what she was talking about. And his eyes was bloodshot red. They was a hot mess. So, you know, she they standing up in front of him with me. And I'm telling him he got to put his mask up. And he's like, all right, all right. So then I'm looking at her and she don't have a mask either. So I'm like, where's her mask? And he's like, um, um, she don't have. I said, can, can y'all just have a seat? Because now they making me feel uncomfortable. Like I'm feeling uneasy with them standing right here beside me. 
Now, mind you, let me tell you why I'm feeling uneasy because I just sat and watched along the course of the route them ask like everybody on the bus one at a time if they had any money. So then all of a sudden they standing up here in front with me. I don't know what they up to. So I said, sir, can y'all just have a seat? Just have a seat, please. You can't stand right here and you don't have your mask. Can you have a seat? And he, So then he says to me, I don't have to sit down. It's not any law that says that I have to sit down on a bus. This is my little water bottle. I love this little spray bottle. Um, yeah, and it just has water in it. That's it. Just plain water. So he says to me, I'm going to spray her hair down a little bit. So he says to me, it's no law that says that I have to sit down. So I'm saying to him, he said, this is why they have the yellow hooks up here. So you can stand up and hold on to them. And I said, okay, that's that's fine. You right. You exactly right. You don't have to sit down. I said, but if you're going to stand right here, you're going to have to step back some. And you're going to have to put your mask on. That's what you are going to have to do. So then he's like, okay, okay. I, I got you. I'm, I'm going I'm to step back. I'm going to step back behind this yellow yellow line. And I said, okay, that's cool. So then I'm like, well, where's her mask? Because she needs to have a mask on. I'm talking about the girl that's with him. She don't have one. So he getting smart and stuff. So by this time, I'm coming, I'm getting ready to pull into a, a subway station. So as I pull into the station, I notice there's two police cars, transit police cars in the station. And I'm like, good, this is perfect, right? I never see any transit cops there, but this particular night, it was some cars there. So as I pull in, I'm telling him, you know, you know, I guess I was, I'm giving him, I'm trying to make him think that I might say something to these cops and he see the cop car. So now his whole demeanor changed, y'all. So now he's like, um, do you have any masks? Do you have any masks, extra masks so I can give one to her? Um... She, she gonna go sit down. He didn't tell her to go sit down. She gonna go sit down. And I just, if you got an extra mask, I'll just give it to her. So I'm reaching for, I said, yeah, I do have a mask, a, a extra mask. Because they give us masks to give to the passengers in case they don't have one. So I said, I do have one. Let me grab it. So I grab the mask and I give it to him. And he walks it back to her and gives it to her or whatever. And so then now he's still back up in the front with me, but he got his mask on now and then he gave her one. So as I'm coming around a little bend at the station, he's like still standing there asking me, like I'm trying to get to the giant, the giant. Do you remember, do you know where the giant is on route seven? And I'm like, yeah, I know where it is. He said, well, that's where I'm trying to go. I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss my stop. And I'm like, okay. So as I'm coming around the bend, the police officers are standing. It's like four of them. They're standing on the other side of the station as I'm coming around. And they're talking, conversating. So I pull up kind of like next to them. And, you know, now he's, the dude's nervous. And then they looking at me in my door um, as if, you know, like, what's going on? Do you need our assistance? You know, they stopped talking and everything. And I'm looking at them and I'm looking at him. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to get this dude in trouble. So, basically, I just went on and went to the light to pull out of the station. And he was like, um, okay, if you know where the giant is, can you just tell me, can you just tell me, when he saw me stop in front of the cops, he said, can you just tell me when we get there, he said, I'm going to go back here and have and, and sit down, and if you could just tell me when we get there. I said, yeah, I'll definitely tell you when we get there. And I said, yeah, just work with me, work with me. He was like, yeah, I'm going to work with you, I'm going to work with you, I'm working with you. And I'm like, yeah, and I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I know you are working with me now because now you're butt scared because you don't know if I'm going to tell these cops that I need them to get on this bus and put your butt off of here. So, yeah, that was my little situation. So as we driving along, I'm driving along the route. He then finally went and sat down. At first, he, he ain't have to sit down. But now all of a sudden he's sitting his butt down. 
So I ain't hear a peep out of him or that lady no more until I got to they stop. So we driving over, I'm driving or whatever, and then I all of a sudden hear like some rattling like a paper bag or a plastic bag or something rattling so he didn't sat in one seat across from where she's sitting at but he's sitting on the seat that's closest to the aisle and he has his back to her and he's fumbling and fumbling with stuff fumbling with paper moving transferring stuff from one pocket to another and i'm thinking to myself these this is sad like they about to go probably smoke something you know what i'm saying and he probably don't want her to see how much he got you know what i'm saying so he's separating you know the stash or whatever and i just was like this is this is pitiful or whatever but yeah it was a trip so they went on and got off with no incident or whatever and went on about their business but i hope next weekend i don't see these folks and they get on my bus again look at this baby's head i love brushing her little head because it's so pretty so yeah so that was one situation all that smart talk he ended up being scared <laughs> he thought i was gonna put them police on his but so that was one story that happened so then yesterday this is my baby blair say hi auntie she's so tired oh my god i love this baby and when I say this baby is weighted like to perfection, she is weighted to perfection. So cute. And this out outfit is really cute on her because it complements her skin tone and everything. So let me fix your legs, little poodle poop. So this is her. And this is the back of her hair, her little swirl. Her hair is perfect for her size. So yeah, this is Blair. So we're going to lay here and turn around so Monty's can see you. So, so that was one incident. And then yesterday, I'm driving another route and I pull up to a station and I'm standing outside because I have a few minutes before I have to actually pull off. And it's a guy sitting at the bus stop. And it's somebody I recognize that's very irritating. He says, hey, pretty brown sugar. <laughs> I'm like, <sighs> and I'm like, what's up? <laughs> Irritated. So he didn't say anything else. By this time, I'm stepping up on my bus to get ready to leave because I'm getting ready to leave. So I step up on my bus. And I start my bus up and everything, and then I open the doors back up so that whoever's getting on can get on. Of course, he's getting on my bus. So he gets on my bus, he smacks, um, taps his smart trip, and he sits down, and he sits in the front seat. And I'm like, Lord have mercy. So I'm driving, pulling out of the station. I stop at the light down there, and he's like, um, so hey, have you ever seen that movie... Um, phone booth by Forrest Whitaker that Forrest Whitaker played in. And I'm like, um, huh? Because I can't really hear him because of the mask, right? Have you seen that movie, um, phone booth that Forrest Whitaker? I said, no, I haven't. And he's like, oh. So he's like, yeah, that was a really good movie. I stayed up all night last night from 11 o'clock to like 1 o'clock in the morning looking at that movie. So I ain't say nothing. My light change, I pull off, make my turn. I'm driving, I'm driving. So he's kind of like, yeah, um, talking about, yeah, that bounce, that bounce station is really, really good. They have some really good movies on there. And so I'm driving, I'm driving. So then he starts singing. I want some of your brown sugar. He said, yeah, that's that D'Angelo song. I like that song. I want some of your brown sugar. And I'm like, OMG, this dude is a creep. So, now mind you, he already said to me, hey, pretty brown sugar. So now he's singing a song. I'm like, Lord have mercy. So I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm driving. And it wasn't long before he got off. He got off early in the route. So he got off the bus and everything, went on about his business. So... 
I take my bus back to the, the, the one end, opposite of where I picked him up at. And then after I got to the other end, opposite of where I picked him up at, I take my lunch break. So it's probably, my lunch break probably like 45 minutes or something like that. And the route itself was like 45 minutes to an hour. So once I take my lunch break, I take my bus back to non-revenue. That means nobody's on the bus with me. I take my bus back to where I picked him up at so that I can start my second block of the same route. So I get back to the place where I originally had picked him up at. And I get off the bus and I'm standing out there because I have like, I think I have like five to seven minutes or something. So I step off the bus and I'm messing around with my phone. And all of a sudden I hear somebody behind me talking about, hey, and I turn around and it's him. And I'm like, oh, and I just kind of roll my eyes. I'm so mean. I need to get an attitude adjustment. So he's like, I ain't even say hey back. I just like was like, you know, <laughs> whatever. So he's like, um, you know, Mr. Booker. And I was like, what? And he's like, you know, Mr. Booker. And I said, no, I don't. So he ain't say nothing for a minute. He said, my last name is Booker. <laughs> so by this time, I'm stepping up on my bus. And I'm like, are you riding this bus? And he was like, no, I'm not riding this bus. I ain't even say okay or nothing. I just shut the doors in his face and got in my seat and started up my bus and pulled off. But I was like, ew, he is such a creep. Like, I don't like that creepy stuff. So then I got all nervous because, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a weirdo. Like, I start thinking about, like, is he going to try to stalk me or whatever. So being as though he asked me, had I seen that movie Phone Booth? Now I wanted to Google and find out what that movie Phone Booth was about. I didn't Google it and it's talking about some something about he went to the phone booth and called somebody and was doing a ransom. I guess he was going to kidnap somebody and he was making a ransom call or something on the phone booth. And I'm like, oh my God, that just made it worse. <laughs> so when I seen him the second time, because I Googled the movie the first time after the first time when he got off my bus when I took my lunch break. So when I seen him the second time, that's what really made me like roll my eyes at him. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, is he following me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he can mess around if he wants to. I ain't playing. I beat and took this pen out. I ain't playing with these people. So anywho, those are two little stories that I had recently. And it's always something happening on my bus. But these were two like stories that happened like within the same week the within you know what a day apart so on saturday and yesterday so i thought i would share because i never have anything to talk about and i know you all like my little bus stories so the good thing about it is that i made it home safely i took that bus back safely and it's all good so i hope you all enjoy my little short video and seeing this beautiful baby Blair and her little outfit. I should have got a headband out. I got my bag right here with my headbands, but I don't know. I don't usually like to put headbands on her because, you know, her hair so, so uh, thin and, well, not thin, but sparsely rooted. So I just really don't like putting nothing on her head because I don't want to pull her hair, pull on her hair or tug on her hair, but... I may put a headband on her just to take a photo on Instagram and then take it off like I always do. I do that all the time. I put shoes on, I put pacifiers in, and then as soon as the photo's done, I take all that stuff off because I don't want nothing to ruin my babies. But anywho, I should be expecting another baby soon, you guys. A silicone baby, full body silicone within maybe another week. And then mid-October, towards the end of October, I'll be expecting another reborn baby. And I'm getting an Aspen kit. 
Well, yeah, I'll be getting two kits. But one of them is on the way, which is Aspen. I should have by Wednesday by Claire Taylor. And then I also ordered another kit that hasn't been released yet. But anywho, I need to sit my butt down and stop buying dolls. But it's so addicting. <laughs> I feel like those people that was on my bus the other day. Gotta have it. <laughs> but anyway, here's baby Blair. Isn't she beautiful, y'all? Her hair already, like, frizzing up. Getting frizzy. But I love her. She's amazing. And she's so floppy. She's weighted so good. But thank you all for coming and uh, joining us on our video. See, I be talking crazy. I don't be knowing what to say. And... Hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't subscribed, and leave us some comments. And we'll try to do more videos here soon, but like I said, I gotta try to get it in when I can fit it in because I'm so, so busy. Um, But I had a little bit of time before I have to actually go to work again today. Today is my Friday though, yay! <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, uh, I'll be off tomorrow and Wednesday, and I'll be so busy on my days off. So, I was glad to be able to uh, get a video in real quick today. Alright, I'm out. We're out. Bye. Like, subscribe, and leave us a comment, and we'll see you all soon. Bye.